Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you another legendary weapon guide. This one's going to be going over the Monarch. It's a legendary Vladoff assault rifle that was added to the game with the Mayhem 2.0 overhaul that just came out. And this weapon can only be obtained on Mayhem 6 and above, so keep that in mind when you're trying to farm for it. This weapon can be obtained by killing Kilovolt. Kilovolt can be found in Lectra City, located on the planet Promethea, and you must have a side mission completed in order to fight him. He is the final boss of one of the side missions in the game. I'm not 100% sure what the name of it is, but you'll want to make sure you have that side mission done so that you're able to farm him for this weapon. Here are the stats for the one that I was able to get. This is Mayhem 10 stats, so if you're not playing on Mayhem 10, your damage probably won't be as much. This is a Storming Monarch, which means it's electric damage. The damage is 2,449 times 4. This can also come in a times 8 variant. The difference is with the times 4, every time you shoot, it's only going to consume 1 ammo. With the times 8, every time you shoot, it's going to consume 2 ammo. We have 70% accuracy, 65% handling, 3.2 second reload time, 10.91 fire rate, and a magazine size of 40. Really good magazine size on this weapon. The red text reads, The Deadly Sting of the Monarch. This one gives us plus 15% weapon fire rate, plus 60% melee damage, and a 1.5 weapon zoom. Obviously, since it's electric, highly effective against shields, and it is anointed for a Beastmaster. Enemies damaged by rack attack take 100% increased damage for a short time. Obviously, you guys can farm for different anointments and different variants of this weapon depending on what your build is and what kind of play style that you're going with. Here's some gameplay with this weapon. Pretty solid weapon overall. I don't like the shock version of it. I don't like shock weapons very much in general. There's a few shock weapons that I like using. This isn't one of them. I'm going to farm for this until I get a times 8 with either fire or just no element at all. Uh, this weapon can come in every element or with no element. And this gun is really, really good. It's more for close range engagements than anything. It can do decent at mid range, but close range is definitely where this thing excels. And the special effect on this weapon, the unique ability, is that it has a bipod mode. Whenever you enter the bipod mode, you're going to have decreased movement speed. So you're going to move a lot slower, but you're going to do double damage. So if you're just trying to deal damage, definitely good for that. Um, just keep in mind, though, that it does cost movement speed in order to do that. So if you're trying to get around quickly, then you're definitely not going to want to be using the bipod mode on it. This weapon is very good, and I highly recommend picking it up. I was going to cover just about everything with the Monarch. This assault rifle is really good. I'm really glad they added this to the game with the Mayhem 2.0 overhaul. Very good close range assault rifle. It feels almost like an SMG, even though it's an assault rifle, but definitely excels in close range gameplay for sure, and highly recommend picking this up. Very good weapon. So go ahead, farm for it, get a variant that you like for yourself, and I guarantee that you're probably going to like this weapon. That's going to be all. Thanks for watching and have a good day.